what's up everyone jimmy hanrix back here once again in another video today we are going to be checking out cooking simulator uh this game's absolute chaos and you can do some pretty fun stuff with it so let's go ahead and get started once our world loads or our kitchen loads in here and uh yeah let's do some cooking so this is our kitchen and there's gonna be a couple of lag spikes that just that's just how it is so just get ready there might be some fps drops there definitely will be some fps drops um later on in the video so let's get started let's get started with this big trout that looks good and i'm not gonna follow the directions at all so this is gonna be an absolute this is gonna be absolute chaos so let's see we're gonna take a trout here uh let's see trout and we're just gonna throw that in let's turn this on oops didn't mean to do that i completely forgot to season it so let's just take some butter because everyone loves the stupid amount of butter on their fish Maybe a little bit of, <laughs> I don't know, lime juice. Sounds good. And last but not least, some barbecue sauce. <laughs> some barbecue sauce for absolutely no reason other than because. Because I can. Alright, let's give that a close. And, oh man, what a mess we've made. Let's take our sponge. Let's just give it a good cleaning. It's really satisfying. Like, it's called Cooking Simulator, but it's actually more satisfying to clean stuff than it is to cook. And that's funny because it's Cooking Simulator, it's not Cleaning Simulator. So, let's see if we were just take this, oh, I don't know, this lemon juice and, uh, oh no, I'm spilling it everywhere. Oh, oh me, oh my, what a mess. Oh no, and I just spilled the lemon juice everywhere. You can take the Swiffer thing... And you can just give that a nice little, just, mm -hmm, just mop it up. And shove all that glass out of the way. Just like that. Not only is this cooking simulator and cleaning simulator, but a lot of times it ends up being firefighting simulator. And I'll show you why probably at the end of the video. And god, that is the world's smallest glass shard. Let's throw that away before somebody gets hurt. <laughs> And I'm saying that as I walk all over glass shards. Where even is the trout? Okay, I see it in there. Let's see if we can just get some of this stuff out of the way. There's the trout. Get it. Get the trout. Okay. That is horrible looking. That is foul looking. Can we just throw you on... I didn't mean the floor, but that works too. Just throw you right there. And then let's take, oh, I don't know, maybe one of these bottles of beer. And we'll just, uh, boom! Oh, yeah. What is happening to the trout? I don't even know. So, we're gonna go ahead and, for absolutely no reason, we're gonna chuck this in the microwave. What just happened? What just happened? Okay, we're gonna just put you in there, and we'll just stick you in on high for like 30 seconds. And it's said to, uh, to put lemon quarters, but I just don't feel like slicing up with a lemon. So, I mean, lemon juice is good enough, right? Lemon juice take two. Okay. <laughs> lemon juice take three. Here we go. Don't let me down, lemon juice. Okay, lemon juice just let me down again. Six and a half hours later. No, damn it. <laughs> okay, this one will have to do. <laughs> or not. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, this better be the last bottle of lemon juice. Oh my god, stop. Okay, last bottle of lemon juice. If this doesn't work, we're going lime juice. Because <laughs> I'm sick of this. Boom. I don't even think I got any on it. Doesn't matter. Come here, trout. Partially yellow trout. Okay, let's get this served. Yeah, I'm sure that's just what the customer wanted. And actually, that wasn't too bad. Probably because we did it quickly. The taste wasn't too bad. Guest compliance. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We, we did not put any of those spices on. Lemon quarter is missing, but I gave you lemon juice. Look how much lemon juice there is. Come on, man. Oh, boy. All right, let's clean some of this mess up. Man, singy customers. Can't you appreciate the lemon juice that I put into that? Look how many bottles of lemon juice we've wasted. It's perfectly good lemon juice. Could have made lemonade. Could have just drank in it straight out of the bottle for some reason. Seriously, there's lemon juice everywhere. You know what? Screw this. I can kill two birds with one stone. And now it's all gone. Thank you, handy dandy wand. Alright, what are we gonna make next? Be quiet. Alright, let's see here. Next up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Burger. <laughs> yes. Burger. Let's do it. Alright. Screw burger meat, we're going T-bone steak burgers. Deep fried T-bone steak. I you know, I forgot to season it again. Let's take you out. Let's just sit you right there. Okay. Oh, did I leave that on? I guess I did leave it on. Balsamic vinegar. That totally didn't work. How about a little soy sauce? Damn it, just like the lemon juice again. Okay, honey. It didn't even break. Okay, there we go. Can we set you right there? There we go. That's a little better. That's a little more in throwing range. So let's take some rice vinegar because we didn't get to use balsamic. Mm-hmm. And now for some jelly for zero reason. Why does this exist? Why must you have to exist? Oh, that looks so... F that looks so... That's foul looking. And yes, for some reason this exists. Cola. A little can of cola. So let's just make a Coca-Cola steak. Actually, you know what? We're supposed to be making hamburgers. So, yeah, you can just go over there. <laughs> and last but not least, let's take some salsa. Oh! Boy, that is foul looking. Oh, it's even on the underside. Let's get this out the door quick. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be uh, making a burger, so let's take a giant plate. You know what? I did this before, actually. So we'll do it again. I did this before and it worked for some reason. If you take... Sorry, I just knocked my microphone over. Sorry, guys. If you take um, all the ingredients that would go into a burger, so burger meat, let's take some of you. And you take a little cheese. Okay. Take um, an onion. You take tomato. 
What else are we supposed to be put in this? Okay, that's all. And if you go over here and you blend it up, and then you come over to this pot, and you take that pot, put this down right there, and you heat it up. Okay, I spilled some, but that doesn't matter. And I also want to test something. Can I melt cheese? So, uh, let's just go over here. Is it possible to melt cheese in this game? I don't actually know. Doesn't look like it's melting, it's just cooking. Let's see what happens, though. I don't think it's gonna melt. Doesn't look like it. Is there butter? Can we can we melt that? Nope, no sound of butter. Mmm, goat cheese. That's delicious. What are those? Are those, those are scallops, yeah. Let's see how the cheese is doing. Okay, so cheese apparently doesn't melt. It just burns. Because, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, dude. I totally screwed this up. Take the cheese. I'll just throw you. We're supposed to take, for our secret burger soup recipe, we're supposed to take a bottom burger bun, and then after you take a bottom burger bun, then you take a top burger bun, and you take that, and you just chuck it in there. How's this top one doing? Oh yeah, it's cooking. Okay, so let's take it off the heat. We can get rid of you. Let's take a bowl. We set one of those down. And then we pour it out. And where's the top? There it is. Take the top and you stick it in there. And because it marinated in all of that, it marinated in our burger soup. It should work just fine. Yes, look at that. We got. I didn't get taste points for that. That was so. We got taste, fame, and cooking points. That was a burger. Sh oh my god, this game. This game was insane. We just we just made a burger soup marinated the burger buns in there and then gave the customer only the top one and we get fame and cooking points for that and taste and the flavors and temperature was perfect although it was missing oh okay i'm sorry was that with heating mistakes it was missing the tomato and the onion it was in the burger that was absolutely ludicrous so there's only one thing left to do now i don't even understand what just happened so let's take the copy gun. Oh, not the firecracker. Let's see if we can uh, shoot all of this stuff. This is like a carnival game. You knock down all the bottles, you win. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dead on. Oh, there's still mustard up there. Mm-hmm. See if we can do something about those. Or the flat screen, I guess. 
Oh, those beer bottles down there look like they want to get a taste of this. Okay, let's make this one barrel absolutely giant. Oh no, we're spreading barrels everywhere. Quickly! Change it to the firecracker launcher. Alright, everyone, so... We're all about to die, because the nuke's about to go off. Not only is it going to nuke the kitchen, but it's also going to nuke the game, and it's going to nuke my computer as well. And, oh god, I'm inside the barrel. Hmm. That wasn't really the grand explosion I was hoping for. So let's take blowtorch. Bye. Oops, forgot to turn it on. That's okay, we got another. Let's throw that in there. Let's take our Halloween candle. See, this is basically a nuke going off. It's nuking the game, nuking my computer, nuking my ears. I hear stuff pouring. I see the, the flat screen. Okay, I think that's the shelf. Yep, that's definitely the shelf. Or the husk of what it used to be. Oh god, that was horrible. And the lights are all screwed up as well. What is this horrible noise? I don't know. All I do know is- what the heck? There's a bottle up there and it's just pouring stuff- WHAT JUST HAPPENED TO WHATEVER THE HECK THAT SHAKER WAS? It just- oh gosh. So, our fridge is dead. And so is all of this stuff. Hey, there's a blowtorch! Let's turn that on. And just, uh... Throw that down there. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's gonna do it for today. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know how I said, uh, it's like firefighting simulator? Let me show you guys what I mean. How it's also, not only is it a cleaning simulator and a cooking simulator, it's also a firefighting simulator because the sprinkler system doesn't kick in until after the entire kitchen is already burned down, which means it's your job to put this out. And also, don't get close to the, too close to the flames, because, you know, the fire extinguisher might explode. Whoops.